Well, good morning, folks. I'd like you to say hello to our newest idea over here at Highland Outbuildings. This building we're going to call the Muskoka. It's uh, basically two buildings in one. So we put a bunch of big windows in here. I like the idea of a gazebo, but gazebos are very limited in their usage because they're just screened in roofs, basically. So what we've done here is basically built a gazebo on this side, the Muskoka room, if you will, but then put a whole bunch of huge windows in the back. So now we have four season capable gazebo situation with a screened in porch on the front. The boys are just gonna finish up a little bit of trim on that. Built a custom door on the front of this, but this is a 12 by 24 building split into two. So now our screened in porch here is going to save us from the black flies and the mosquitoes and the deer flies and everything else. This would be a great place to put a griddle or a barbecue or a what have you. Lots of room here for furniture, maybe a refrigerator. But then lo and behold, through this big door, we have a fully insulated lockable space with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of our three by four windows. So this building with a heat source, we're gonna put a little direct vent propane heater right there. You can hang out in this in January. And when it's hot out, we're just gonna open up our windows. And now this whole space is airy and light, and we have what functions as a gazebo anyways. Imagine all these windows open up at your lakeside cottage with a nice little napping couch out there, gentlemen. Or this is an additional bunky space, you know? This part of the building is 12 by 14, and then the porch on the front is 12 by 10. So. Here we are with basically two buildings in one. Built for life in Canada. You know, we get bugs like crazy for a couple of months. This solves that problem. Pressure treated deck boards out here on the porch. This is built just like our traditional builds. Board and batten siding. The windows are all nicely trimmed in. But then in here, like, <laughs> this is such a good idea. We just have like our insulated space. The floor's insulated, the wall's insulated, the ceiling's insulated. Beautiful tongue and groove pine, you know? We think this is innovative. We think this is going to be a heck of a bargain for those of you that want some additional space on your property. And we're calling this one the Muskoka. So thank you for having a look. We're always trying to be innovative and do something new here at Highland Outbuildings. This is our newest kick at that cat. Not cat can. I don't know, whatever, however you say that. But look at this cool idea. We got a screened in porch plus an insulated bunkie all in one. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. A couple more things to mention here. So as always... All of our Highland Outbuildings come with a steel roof. This one just happens to be screened in. The porch doesn't have any insulation in it. It's just um, the rough cut board and batten. The windows are all double paned. With screens, they all open 50%. You'll notice down here, we actually have a pressure treated underfloor. So you'll see right underneath the floor joist there, there's that half inch layer of plywood. So that does a really good job of enclosing the entire bottom of the building. Those rest right on top of the skids. These are portable structures. You'll see the brackets on the corner, so you can drag them around with a tractor, or we can do that for you with the shed mule. And this part of the building is tight. You know, we've got quality windows, quality siding. The whole thing is wrapped in house wrap. Then we put the insulation in the walls, then vapor barrier, and then the pine as you see it. The front, of course, being wide open, you'll notice here the underfloor stops because there's no point insulating underneath the screened-in porch because if a little moisture gets in there, 
it's going to drain right through those deck boards onto the ground. The boys always build custom doors for stuff like this. So, like I mentioned, these pressure treated deck boards. There's not going to be a ton of moisture. We actually talked about the idea of modular panels for these. So you could have either a screen for, you know, sort of March through November and then replace those with another panel that's the same size that could have plastic on it. So then we could extend our season a little bit, which I think is a good idea too. And then back in here, I mean, this building, you could add a heat source to this and make this four season capable. I think this is the ultimate building for those of you that have recreational properties where you're swimming in the summer and snowmobiling in the winter. We got it covered. Pretty cool.